Hey what's up you guys, my name is Mina, welcome to my channel Mina Reads and today we are doing an unhaul with me. So I have done a video like this in the past, I will leave it linked up in the cards or in the description box below if you'd like to check that one out. But uh, in my unhaul with me, basically I go around my house and the different locations where I keep my books and I just kind of review my book collection and see what books I'm ready to part with. And so in this installment we're going to be getting rid of some books and uh, this unhaul is kindly being sponsored by Pango Books. So Pango Books is basically a new like marketplace app where you can buy and sell used books. So I'm going to be using it to sell some of the books that I unhauled today and I'll show you guys like how it works and everything. But it's a really cool service. I really like it because it helps guide you through the process of selling the book and like it teaches you how to price the books and everything like that. It really holds your hand through the process because I have wanted to sell books in the past but I just really didn't know how to do it or how to price it and everything like that. So Pango Books is really good about like helping you through that first time bookseller experience. So yeah it's really cool the way that you can like shop and find books. You can just search up the title specifically. You can search up particular sellers if you have like someone that you like buying from um i am just really enjoying it right now you can find the app on the app store if you have like an iphone or on the google play store i think that's what it's called if you have an android yeah, if you're like me and you have a bunch of books piling up on your shelves that you want to get rid of and maybe you want to be able to make a little bit of money off of it you should check out pango books and i love a good used book um i buy a lot of my books secondhand so this is really like helpful really useful very very much my thing so yeah i'm very grateful that pango wanted to sponsor this video and i'm kind of excited to be a bookseller i'm like maybe too excited about it i actually bought these like little um blue mailers are they blue are they like turquoise i don't know what color you'd say these are but i bought these little mailers i'm very excited to sell my first book um and yeah I think it'll be a cool experience. I want to thank Pango for sponsoring this video and let's unhaul these books. So here is a quick overview of like my little TBR shelf that's in my room. Can you guys see me? Is everything cool? Okay. So I feel like there's something on here that I did want to get rid of. I might just rearrange the TBR shelf a little bit because uh, I need to like switch it out so it has my most updated TBR on it. Um, so let's look. Okay, I've already found one I want to get rid of. Um, She Who Became the Sun. I'm getting rid of this one, not because there's anything wrong with it. Um, I haven't really read it yet. I read a few chapters, but I haven't read it completely. But I have a physical, like, hardcover, and this is an ARC copy, so I think I'm just going to give this ARC away. The rest of the books up here are pretty new to my collection so I don't necessarily think I want to get rid of any of them is this one okay I actually have two of them that I might get rid of okay so I have How to Find a Princess by Alyssa Cole and The Hellion's Waltz by Olivia Waite so The Hellion's Waltz by Olivia Waite this is actually just a duplicate copy um I'm not sure how or why but um one of my friends she got me a gift and for some reason two copies came instead of one so i think i'll also be giving this one away um and then i have how to find a princess by Alyssa cole and i don't know i feel like this one is tentatively on the chopping block but i don't know quite yet if i want to get rid of it because i just really have been finding that i don't connect with Alyssa cole's writing all that much and so i don't know if i want to have her books i have so many of her books and i just feel like she's just not really the writer for me i might i might give this book another chance i don't know i don't know let me know in the comments what you think i should do with it i'll hold on to it for a while um and you guys can like vote in the comments if you think i should keep it and read it or not okay so that's basically all the books that i want to unhaul just from like the collection that i have in my room so we're gonna head downstairs to my basement where i keep my two billy bookshelves and i'll show you what those look like it's a mess down there so you guys cannot judge me um but yeah so we're gonna unhaul some stuff down there all right, so here is my first bookshelf, and you can see in the background my sister's bike. Um, so yeah, this is my bookshelf, and then there's that pile of books on the floor. High pile of books. My other bookshelf, which is where I usually film my videos, is also a little bit of a mess over here. Try not to judge me too harshly. So yeah, this is the shelf that I film in front of. 
I feel like there probably won't be that many books to get rid of over here, but we'll see. I think I'll start over here. And I need to clean up all of this, like, mess. What is all of this? I don't know. Okay, so let me move this chair. So starting from this bottom shelf and, like, working my way up, because I think everything that's up there should be probably good. I probably won't get rid of it. Um, all right, so already I found one that I want to get rid of. This is called Dreamland Burning by Jennifer Lotham, Lotham I think. Um, and this... It's like a dual timeline story. One of the timelines takes place um, in like the 1920s and is set during like the Tulsa race riots. And then the other one is set during present day and it's about this girl who discovering like the um, the racial history of like her hometown. I read this uh, maybe in like 2016, 2017. I really liked it back then, but I know that this is not a book that I'll ever be revisiting. So I definitely think that this one is one I can, you know, remove from my collection. Okay, I'm trying to be like pretty aggressive with this unhaul. Like I really do want to clear out my shelves. I want my shelves to be a reflection of the reader that I am right now. And I want the books to show books that I want to read or that are you know on my immediate TBR or books that I really loved and so if it's not one of those things I kind of want to get rid of it so I have Docile by somebody who is it KM Spera and I want to get rid of this book I have heard a lot of things about this book that just make me feel like I'm not going to enjoy it um and it involves some kind of like master slave relationship thing it's like a speculative fiction it's supposed to be some kind of commentary about capitalism but like I just don't care and I don't want it and I don't want to keep it um I'm probably just going to be giving this one away because this is an art copy so like shout out to Tor for sending it a million years ago but I just don't think I'm going to be able to read um and the next one that I have is Crier's War by Nina Varela um I read this and I enjoyed it at the time, but I don't necessarily know that I will be continuing on with the series. It wasn't like that interesting that I want to continue with the series, but it was it was fun to read at the time. Definitely the kind of book I feel like you could just get from the library. So I think I'm going to be getting rid of this one as well to make some more room on the shelves. Let me come back to that bottom shelf and see if there's anything on the next shelf. Most of these I want to keep or they're like relatively recent acquisitions. I think I'm going to keep basically everything on this shelf. This one book right here is called Funny Boy. Um, I feel like I must have been sent this like unsolicited or something because I literally have no idea what it is. I don't know why I have it. Um, so I'm getting rid of it it's not focusing okay so the next shelf here this is a shelf you see a lot when I'm filming it's like directly behind me uh, and none of these I'm not getting rid of them I've got my Jill Ebert Crombie collection and some of my other fantasy and stuff so yeah I'm keeping all of those no interest in getting rid of them this is another one that you see in my videos a lot I've got my Greenbone Saga collection I've got my um, David Baugh Trilogy Collection, which is not complete. I still need to get the UK paperback. Um, yeah, so these are some of my favorite books. Uh, we've got the Band Series by Nicholas Ames. We've got some Kate Ancrum, Fifth Season. Um, over there, some other stuff. The Expanse Series. So yeah, this is like one of my favorite shelves. So I don't think I'll be getting rid of anything here. And now on to this romance shelf. Hmm. I feel like I might keep this stuff here. I might. Some more romances are up here and some other kind of like miscellaneous stuff. Usually it's hidden by this little flower pot. Say hi to the flower pot. Um, that's not the one. This one. Um, yeah, so shout out to the publisher for sending me this one. Um, I'm pretty sure they sent it to me unsolicited. Uh, and I appreciate the fact that they sent it to me. I appreciate the fact they sent it to me. I did read it. Um, I think it was okay. It was enjoyable. If you're looking for like a, a sapphic like mafia romance, you might want to check it out. I gave it three stars, but I don't think it's something that I want to keep. So I'll probably just give this one away. And I think that's pretty much it from this shelf because this shelf is, you know, more so books that are, that I like or that I have acquired relatively recently and stuff. So I don't necessarily think there's anything else on this shelf that like, I feel a burning need to get rid of. So let's move on to the other shelf. 
besties the camera keeps getting unfocused i have no idea what that's about so sorry but uh yeah so i think i'm gonna get rid of tiny pretty things by sonia charapatra and uh danielle clayton this is like a ya contemporary it's about like ballerinas and stuff i know that it got like a netflix adaptation somewhat recently i just really have no interest in it uh i think i picked it up back in like 2016 or something like when i was still interested in ya and that's just very much not where i am mentally anymore so i just think that i'm probably gonna get rid of this it doesn't speak to me what else i'm sure there's plenty of stuff on this shelf that i can get rid of because this is very much like my i don't want to say my throwaway shelf but this is the shelf where i just throw books up there so it's probably something else on here that i can get rid of here is another YA that I is just not interested in. This one actually might even be middle grade. And I just, I really don't read that. I really don't reach for that. So I think it would be better if I gave this away as well. Sheesh, I'm really clearing things out. I found another one. Uh, this is When No One's Watching by Alyssa Cole. I read this, it was three stars. It's a thriller. It was okay. It gets a lot of comparisons to Get Out and I feel like it's very much that. So if you enjoy Get Out, you might enjoy this. I like to get out well enough, but like this book was not amazing to me. Uh, so I think I've decided that I will get rid of this one and I will keep the other Alyssa Cole romance that I was like back and forth about. And maybe I'll try that one, but this one I will get rid of. Okay, another one. Bro, this shelf, I'm really clearing things out. Like this is Twice Shy by Sarah Hogle. Uh, one of my most disappointing reads of the year. It was just so fucking boring. So it's going. Golly gee. No, because this shelf is like, it was packed. Like to the point where there was like things double stacked. Let me see. So this shelf right here is the one I've been pulling from. And it was like double stacked. Like I had books like sitting outward and everything to make room. And now, look at all these like little empty spaces because I'm getting rid of stuff. And I'm seeing another thing that I'm going to get rid of, which is American Gods. I'm thinking about it. Should I get rid of American Gods? I never finished it. I got it in like 2017. Never finished. Because it's just so thick. Like, it's just a thick, thick girl. Maybe I'll keep uh, American Gods and it'll just be one of those reads that's like one day... I'll finally be able to finish it like maybe maybe I'll keep it for that reason so yeah I think I'm done pulling from this shelf the shelf up here at the top everything up there is like cool so we can keep that this is the third shelf down these are two of my Christina C. Jones romances I want to put them on the other shelf with my CCJ collection so I should do that oh my god I feel like you really cannot see me at all like the lighting is so bad but whatever this book, um, The Space Between Us, is a story about these two Indian women from like two different social castes and it's about like the tension between them because one of them is like a cleaner in this woman's house and then the woman whose house it is, she's like being abused by her husband and it's just about like their different, um, the tension between them because they're from two different castes but also like the intimacy that exists between them because they spend like their entire lives kind of together um and it's it was interesting i liked it at the time i don't think i'll ever read it again so i'll probably give this one away as well so now this is one of my book of the month shelves and then i have another book of the month shelf i don't know if i want to get rid of any of these because okay wait a minute i lied i do want to get rid of the beach read I hated this book. I literally despised the experience of reading it. It just very much was like not for me. It was just one of those books that did not speak to me. The main character, January, she irritated me to no end and I'm getting rid of this. But I think the rest of my collection of book of the month books, I think I want to keep them. I don't think I'm ready to part with any of the other ones. So this is my other book of the month shelf. Shelf? shelf with an f um here's a little stack of books that have no home at the moment but yeah so i don't think i want to get rid of any of these but you could let me know if you think any of the titles like down here are a waste of time or if i should prioritize them on the tbr you could let me know but i do spot two that i can definitely get rid of so 
Court of Miracles by Kester Grant. I'm getting rid of this. Uh, this was a like special collection, special edition um, in an Illumicrate box, I think. But it just, I'm not interested. It certainly is a beautiful cover. It really is. I really like the black sprayed edges. The cover is so cute, but I'm just not interested in this. I think it has something to do with like the French Revolution or something. Yeah, it's something about like an alternate universe where the French Revolution failed or something, something, something. And I just don't care. So I'm getting rid of this. And I keep saying I'm going to get rid of Steel Crow Saga by Paul Kruger, but I keep forgetting to get rid of it. I heard really gross things about this author, so I don't know if I feel comfortable reading his book. So might get rid of this as well. Um, bum bum bum. Okay, wait, I did find another one that I want to get rid of. So this book is about like army wives or something. It's called In a Book Club Far Away. Apparently this is about these women. They're in this book club. They're all army wives. Something shatters their friendship. Something, something. I just, I don't care. So I'm getting rid of this. Let's do another look through. So there's the top shelf. We didn't really get rid of anything up there. Oh, but we should have. Misery by Stephen King. Misery was an okay book. It was like a three star book. I do see why Stephen King has all the accolades that he does, but I just, I can't, I can't get with him. So that's going. And now, hopefully, I can find a home for all of these miscellaneous books that are on my floor. Alright, I just spotted this book on my shelves, uh, This Close to OK by Lisa Cross Smith. Absolutely hated this. Like, the vibes of it were absolutely horrendous. It, it has to go. It has to go. It has to go. It's about like this lady, she's a psychiatrist and this guy, she sees him and he's like about to commit suicide so she decides to save him but she is so weird and the vibes between her and the guy are so strange and the boundary issues between them so deeply uncomfortable and it just was not, it was just not it. Alright besties, so uh, since being downstairs, I have actually picked up a few more titles that I just want to go over. So let's just like go over the whole stack really quick. Um, Alright, so we've got this uh, sapphic mafia romance. It was okay, it was three stars, I just want to get rid of it. This book, I don't know what this is about. Unsolicited, getting rid of it. This book, A Survivor Song by Paul Tremblay, this is like a horror zombie novel. I gave it a shot. I read about 70 pages and I was just really, really bored. So I really don't think this is for me. So it's going. Then I have Zenny by Rebecca Weatherspoon. Uh, you all know that this is one of my favorite books. So I'm not getting rid of it for any particularly bad reasons. I just happen to have two copies of it. And one of my copies is signed. And this one is not so I figured that there's no reason to have two of them and have it like taking up space on my shelves so I am going to be getting rid of this one as well then a bit more controversially I have tools of engagement by Tessa Bailey really 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 was not a fan of this book and I think that I might just not be a fan of Tessa Bailey all that much I feel like I really enjoyed it happened one summer but every other book that I read by her was just an absolute no from me and this one was just like it just irritated me to no end so I'm getting rid of it and this is one of the books that I will be selling on Pingo so you can check it out on my profile if you want it and I have another duplicate copy so this is uh, Abaddon's Gate by James S.A. Corey this is the third book in the Expanse series and somehow I ended up with two copies of it so again I'm getting rid of it I'm getting rid of it it's a big you know thick chunky book and it's taking up a lot of space so I am going to be getting rid of this one then we've got Docile. This book has some themes in it that just kind of make me uncomfortable, so I don't want it. A middle grade that I'm never going to read. Crier's War. I enjoyed it. It's just, this is like a YA sapphic uh, enemies to lovers romance type. It's not really a romance, but it has like enemies to lovers trope in it. I enjoyed it well enough, but definitely not something I want to maybe continue the series. Like it was a fun time, but am I going to reread it? Am I going to continue the series? No, probably not. Beach Read, I despise January. She just irritated me to no end. Can't wait to get rid of this book. Me and Alyssa Cole, we're not on great terms, so getting rid of this one. Very, very beautiful, but I am not interested in the insides whatsoever, and I hate to be shallow, so I'm going to get rid of this, and hopefully it will find a home with someone who wants to read it. Twice Shy, one of the most disappointing reads of the year. A book about army wives, I really don't care. 
a decent book, but I don't want to keep it. An ARC that I have a finished copy of. A good YA novel about like racism and racial tensions, but I'm never going to reread it. Misery by Stephen King. This book, horrendous, horrendous vibes. Uh, 0 out of 10 would not recommend. This one I just really don't care for, so it's going. Yeah, so that's all the books that I'm going to be getting rid of. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you watched all the way to the end, please leave me a shopping cart emoji um, because some people are going to be hopefully book shopping on my page on Pango Books. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Shout out to Pango Books for sponsoring this. You can check them out on the App Store or on the Google Play Store. Uh, and yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye, you guys.